Hi there, I am Phil Gunn, an account manager with Philip Futures. Today, I'll be giving an update on the US market and we'll be discussing the S&P 500. The key question is, now that the stock market has continued its uptrend for the first half of the year, will the uptrend continue in the second half? President Biden has unveiled his 2022 budget proposal, which called for US $6 trillion in spending. 36.6% higher than the pre-COVID-19 spending plan of US $4.4 trillion in 2019. The proposed budget incorporates Biden's two signature domestic proposals, the American Families Plan and the American Jobs Plan. Biden's proposal also calls for higher tax rates that will be retroactive to April, but is expected to face strong opposition in Congress as Republicans remain firmly divided on this plan. U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen told G7 finance ministers and central bank governors that it was important to provide further fiscal support to promote a robust and lasting recovery in the wake of the pandemic. Total non-farm payroll employment rose by 266,000 in April, and the unemployment rate was little changed at 6.1%, the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics reported. Federal Reserve Chief Powell said the Fed doesn't have to raise interest rates on worry that inflation will pick up from the strong growth and job creation. We can afford to wait to see actual inflation appear before we raise interest rates, Powell said. Hence, Fed will likely keep policy rates at the current 0 to 0.25% region at least until end 2022. Since the breakout of the pandemic in November last year, S&P has been on an uptrend. The 50-day MA trails nicely behind as the uptrend remains intact as of now. With the first support at 3,954 and immediate resistance at 4,234, it looks to retest the recent high in attempt to break through. On the downside scenario, in the event that there is an impulse drop and the support level 3,954 breaks in one fell swoop, it is likely a volatile period will ensue and probably a deeper correction to 3,728 level. However, the likely scenario is that uptrend will resume. This is shown as a series of corrective retracement where the immediate trend line is broken, but the ascending triangle pattern continues. If an impulsive breakout happens, the next target level will be about 4,392. So trading stock indices CFDs allows you to trade both directions of the market. You can short sell the market if the market undergoes a correction phase, or you can go long in the market if the resistance is broken and the uptrend continues. Philip MT5 offers CFDs on global indices around the world, including US, Asian indices, as well as exotic European indices. You can trade these stock indices CFDs at zero commission and with no platform fee. So sign up for a free live trading account now. It takes only a few minutes using SingPass and there's no minimum deposit required. If you sign up using my QR code below, you can also sign up for a free one-to-one -one coaching session conducted over Zoom. The course will be on technical analysis demonstrated with the MT5 platform. I am a dual license holder specializing in futures, forex and stocks. You also receive weekly updates on the economic data releases and technical advice via WhatsApp. Thank you for watching. I look forward to onboarding you on this trading journey.